you're new, I'm Alicia, and today we are getting ready for the new year. I hope you had a great Christmas or holiday season, but the holidays are done now, except for New Year's, of course, but that is why it is the perfect time to plan how you're gonna find success with your health goals in 2019. My best recommendation when it comes to eating well is having healthy food accessible. If it's there, you're more likely to eat it, right? I do that by meal prepping, and I have an entire course to teach you how to do it called Meal Prep Ignite. We launched the course last year and we only do open enrollment twice per year, but I thought right now would be the perfect time so that all of us can start 2019 off with a bang. So enrollment is open today through Friday, January 4th. After that, it's gone. In the course, I teach cooking and prep basics, how to compose balanced meals, storing and labeling food, how to prep for families, and the crux of the course is teaching my Meal Prep Ignite system, which takes you from blank pages to a full prepped plan with grocery list and prep day map. We update the course after every enrollment period, and this time we have made the sheets digital, so it does a lot of the work for you and saves you paper. Plus, we've added some new content to teach you how to prep using a microwave and some helpful food waste information. There are also full meal prep video examples that are not available here on YouTube, and I've even included three of my best-selling meal prep eBooks for free as part of the course. If you want access, you've gotta head to mealprepignite.com now. One of the main things I get asked about on YouTube all the time is, what if I don't wanna eat the same thing every day? You don't have to. I teach that in my course too, and I'm going to share my mix and match tool with you today, which helps you find new inspiration and ideas. You can download this printable in the description box for free. It's directly from the course, and it gives you insight on how to switch up meals, as well as a starting point if you just don't know what to prep. I'm going to take you through three variations today, but your options are endless. The tool encourages balanced meals, focusing on mixing and matching proteins, vegetables, carbohydrates, flavors, and a vessel or method of serving. You can take what you want and leave what you don't. So if you're keto, simply skip the carb or make it extra veggies. If you're doing Whole30, make sure your flavor combos are compliant, etc. You can really take it and make it your own, and it also makes it easier to cook without a recipe too. The first one I'm showing you today is barbecue chicken tacos, and I'm going to show it three ways so you can really get an idea of what you're capable of when you use this tool. My protein is going to be rotisserie chicken. I'll use roast vegetables, sweet potato, barbecue sauce, and tacos. Choose what you like and pair what sounds good to you. Rotisserie chicken is a meal prep favorite of mine because it's already cooked and tasty. I pull the meat off the bone and I've got protein ready to go. I can store it as is, but this week I know I want it barbecue flavor, so I add some sauce to it, toss, and then store. For vegetables, I've got Brussels sprouts and sweet potatoes, raw, prepped, and stored, ready for me to bake. And remember, you can use different shapes and cooking methods to keep things interesting. I prefer to store food uncooked when I can so I can enjoy it fresh during the week, but you can also totally cook it and then have it prepped, cooked, and ready to go. My best and worst guide from my Meal Prep Ignite course is also super helpful for knowing which foods will last and which won't. For today's examples, I'm also roasting up those Brussels sprouts and sweet potatoes that I've just tossed with a little oil and seasonings of choice. Remember, you could use any vegetables. So now we can get creative with how to throw this together. One, I can enjoy rotisserie barbecue chicken tacos with a side of roasted Brussels sprouts and sweet potato wedges. Two, I can enjoy all three of them together in a taco. Three, I can enjoy the chicken and Brussels sprout tacos with a sweet potato mash on the side. I simply mash up cooked sweet potatoes. You could just use the cubes or roast the potatoes whole. Peel them and toss with a splash of milk and seasonings. Three easy preparations from one mix and match combination. And there are so many more things you could do with this too. Okay, next let's try canned tuna, spinach, a cold quinoa salad, pesto, and serve it as a salad, a pesto tuna salad. I do have a little bit of intention when I pick these things, but you could totally do it random and make it work too. There's no right or wrong. All that matters is that you pick something that you like to eat. First, I drain the tuna and toss with pesto. Separately, I toss some cooked and cooled quinoa with spinach. I store those in a two-part container and add a lemon wedge to the salad section for an easy, portable, and healthy dressing and some red pepper flakes to the tuna. 
my prep is ready to go. My greens aren't going to get mushy because they aren't dressed. And when I'm ready to enjoy, I can add the pesto tuna onto the salad or dump it into a separate bowl. I can squeeze that lemon and add a bit of olive oil for dressing. It's simple, tasty, fresh flavors, and it's waiting for me when I need it. And man, can we just acknowledge how easy that prep was? Mix and store. Last one for now. I'm going with beans, finely diced veggies, corn, salsa, and a pita for an easy Southwestern vegetarian pita. See what I'm doing there? I'm just giving a name to all the stuff we're gonna throw together. There is no magic to it, I swear. I saute some diced onions and green bell pepper and oil as my diced veggies. After a few minutes when they're tender, I add canned beans and corn that I've drained and rinsed. Another minute or two later, I add some salsa, cumin, and cilantro for extra flavor. It's ready to store, or eat, of course. Meals like this make for easy prep because they all get mixed together. You just add it to your pita and eat, and you can enjoy hot or cold. If you're thinking, Alicia, I want a side dish. Think of how easy it is to take one of those components and separate like we did in the first example. I could roast up some bell pepper vegetables and serve them on the side of my pita instead. The problem with following someone else's meal plan is that it will never be exactly what you want and what you like to eat. So my goal with this course is to give you the tools, the education, and the confidence to get in the kitchen and make what you like to eat. If you're making what you like and making it accessible because you've cooked it in advance, then staying healthy is going to be so much easier. I promise. I want to see you all reach your health goals this year, and I want to help you do it as a student in my Meal Prep Ignite course. For information, head over to mealprepignite.com, and remember that enrollment is limited and closes in a week. My recommendation is to get a jump on it before the new year even begins. We also have a money back guarantee. So if you try out meal prepping using my system for three weeks and it doesn't work, we'll refund you. It is work and it can be intimidating, but it could also make your life so much easier and save you money in the long run. Thanks for being here today. I hope you found this video useful, whether or not you enroll. Remember, you can get that mix and match sheet for free using the link in the description. Announcement, I will actually see you on Tuesday, January 1st, because I have a special Kickstart series coming to you in January. We have been working for months to get it ready, and we're going to have a new video here on YouTube every weekday in January. So Monday through Friday, you will get a new piece of content as inspiration to kickstart your year. Some of it is very different than anything we've shared before, and we couldn't be more excited to share it with you. So subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss anything. I will see you on Tuesday, and remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.